morning, everybody. I am so excited to be able to introduce, introduce the new Color Steady Set system to you. And so we have two units here behind me. So just really quickly, I want to go over what is Pella Steady Set. So I'm going to take Please the stage do. here for a minute, teach you guys a little bit. So with that insight of how do we set and attach a window from the inside, that took a lot of rethinking about the overall parts and pieces of the product. And so this product comes with pre-applied pre parts. The first one I want to call attention to is the flip and click installation bracket. There are typically six of them on a window, and this insight became how do we attach from the inside. And so you flip, thank you, the clip, <laughs> slide it back into place, and there's an audible click when you slide it all the way in. That means it's locked and ready to go, and so you'll do that with all six of them to start. So it comes with three different types of clips to choose from. We have a standard two by four clip, a standard two by six clip, and then we have a uh, adjustable clip that goes from a, basically a two by eight construction on eighth inch increments that you can, there's coin lines in it that you can break off at your specific dimension to meet your particular framing. So if I have exterior insulation, even on a two by four wall or two by six wall, this guy has these little slots in it at mm -hmm. different markers, mm -hmm. and then I just pair alignment pliers and snap it? Yes. And then I, I get the exact right dimension, even though I didn't have to tell you what my wall was when I ordered. Correct. And then, you know, you think about your interior trim work too. Now these are all completely aligned all the way around the perimeter. So that way on the inside of the window, if you're doing a drywall return or you're doing trim work, you have consistent reveals, which actually makes it easier for downstream trades. Yep. Um, and that was a big benefit that the installers that followed us really were like, oh my gosh, this would make it so much easier. And one of the things that actually helps do that too, on our exterior fin, we have a 3 8 inch gasket to allow for a little bit of forgiveness because we know wall variability happens on the job site. And so that's going to help you also get a consistent reveal as well as a really nice seal on the ex exterior. So you probably can't see it all that well here. But on the top, we have what's called the head stabilizer. And the head stabilizer is a spring, piece of spring steel attached to the top of the head. And as the window gets set into place, so step one is flip your clips, and then step two is set your window into the rough opening. When you're setting it into the rough opening, that piece on top actually puts downward pressure onto the window, kind of acting as the installer's third hand. And so that's one of the enablers that gets us to a one person installation rather than two. Because as soon as you set it in there, it's got downward pressure, it's also biting into that header. And you guys will see this when we pop one in. I can actually push on the outside of the window and it's not gonna tip back in on them. And it's also not gonna tip to the exterior because these clips are now on the inside. We have two pre-applied sill shims that come on the window on the bottom and it gives a quarter inch gap. That quarter inch gap allows, one, your fingers not to get crushed when you're setting large units into place. It also allows space for your crowbar to go in. So as you mm, set it smart. and say you need to futz around with it or you need to get a, a shim underneath of there, you can easily pry it up, slide it in, and make sure that that sill is level for your window to get the ultimate performance. There's also another feature on the exterior fin once we pop it off. There's ridges on the bottom fin that give it a little bit of space. That way, in case water does get into that rough opening, it has a way to weep out underneath the window overall. And actually on there, we printed do not seal, both in English and Spanish, That's pretty just cool. to make it incredibly obvious for the installer. Because at the end of the day, we know water is, you know, a major pain point and yep. probably one of the biggest reasons you might get a call back. So these are also shim guides that go onto the side of some of our windows, um, up to certain sizes and then on our double hungs and single hungs. And so this allows you to basically slide a shim down the jam and it'll catch in that center slot. And then you can go in or out depending on the overall kind of space you need to fill in there for the shims. And so it'll help hold it in place um, to give you, again, consistent reveals and good performance on your single hung and double hung for that hourglassing effect. So on the outside, you'll yeah. see these gray pieces. These are fin retainer clips. These come 
direct from factory, kind of as the packaging. We have seen some people after they deploy the fin, you can slide it back in there. So if oh. you have masonry carpenters or you've got stucco coming in afterwards, you can keep that frame nice and clean. So this is our new flashing fin and it's a durable plastic material, but then there's that gasket that I was talking about, three eighths inch gasket. That's that black line that's running around. And then up here, we've got a continuous corner seal that goes on all three planes. So up against the actual house, as well as on the window frame. And this is made of TPE, which is similar to like a squeegee material. So it's really durable, really flexible, impermeable as far as water goes. So once you pop the window into the rough opening, you get it set, you get it attached. You, that's 64% of the work all happening on the inside at that time. Then the exterior work happens. You pop off those fin retainer clips and then you tape it as normal with your preferred tape and you're good to go. You're set.